this previous example I um, compared one specific kind of extroverted cognitive loop to typically introverted con cognitive loop and those types used for exemplifying was the ESFP and the ISFP both of them fairly common types and you might uh, imagine a person because these two they have the same set of functions and the same polarity which means extroverted introverted uh, preference of all functions only functions appearing in a slightly different order and um, you might see them as um, a pair an e i pair uh, of the same basic type and you if you wish you may divide all the six types in into eight couples where um, you might see the one as the extroverted avatar and the other one as the introverted one so if we imagine a type or two having a opposite polarity of their functions all the way opposite uh, one of them extroverted and the other one introverted this uh, all the way opposite polarity would be the case of my own and uh, for that reason perhaps somewhat easier to exemplify just that uh, these uh, two types are fairly uncommon the rather small part of the total population and um, this means that if you have actually observed someone being within some kind of cognitive loop it will probably not be this NTP type but rather SFP that's the one exemplified however may still be easier discussing this one only because I'm, I'm more familiar with it uh, so what's NTP pair the ENTP and the INTP um, starting with myself you would probably agree upon me being uh, fairly introverted not in any traditional sense social socially oriented uh, yet in this uh, particular constellation I'm actually supposed to be the extroverted one so you might actually imagine that the other one the introverted avatar would be quite a bit towards introversion and yes yes it's very much to this INTP is you might say 
the very image of an introvert geek. This um, mad genius with uh, this lack of understanding for uh, social uh, patterns and hi hierarchies and stuff. Not only natural scientists, but also uh, social scientists uh, like Karl Marx is supposed to have been one of these guys. And Einstein, uh, perhaps Newton, Darwin, fictional ones, uh, you might mention. Reed Richards, so the Fantastic Four. Uh, not only can he stretch his whole body almost limitlessly, all parts of it. Yeah, you imagine all parts. Uh, he's also this uh, scientific genius, and uh, he's the one who found this portal to the negative zone and uh, yes created artificial intelligence and just name it with Richards has done it and uh, this geeks you have all seen them, at least, in some uh, movies and such. They are the ones conspiring and exchanging ideas, having as their hobby, figuring out how to create a doomsday weapon that would blow the whole world to dust um, or creating a virus that would kill entire humanity or perhaps creating an artificial intelligence reproducing itself and making humanity completely unnecessary. I have in mind that these are very nice guys. They are kind and actually very empathetic, although completely oblivious to social rules and conventions. And, uh, tactical behaviors, uh, the sense for social structures, hierarchies and such, um, they are not the least interested or in uh, becoming powerful and rich or having social status, that, that's the key word. They might see a point in getting rich so they can buy all these collections of uh, all Fantastic Four magazines from the 60s and um, yeah but, but not only for the sake of it to be admired by others. And, uh, yeah, they live their lives, as you might expect, positioned in their underwear in front of some ancient late 90s computing machine, 
or actually a complete replication of the original Babbage Lovelace um, analytical machine from the mid 19th century. Uh, well, if uh, the former one, the, this late 90s machine running some um, obscure modified Linux distribution, or they may have invented uh, an operating system all of their own. And uh, this one is the center of um, a huge pyramid of uh, old uh, pizza boxes. And apart from this computer, they have this DVD boxes, complete Star Trek original series. And um, perhaps the X Files and um, Simpsons. Do not forget. Perhaps also some um, Japanese anime stuff. And um, some um, children's books that they are still very fond of might be ah, whatever. And um, then they become like mummified in their, wrapped into their old, not the Fantastic Four magazines, they are too valuable, but um, some uh, Superman magazines from late 90s, perhaps. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much how they live their lives. And, um, they not have any driver's license. They won't need it because they have everything they need in their apartments. And the pizza guy comes delivering uh, these boxes outside the door uh, and then um, they go collect it when they um, when the computer um, is loading something and becomes a natural break perhaps And, yeah, they they smell bad and uh, there's like a mist of uh, something which is probably cannabis smoke, old cannabis smoke. And, um, yeah, on the other hand, the ENTP, who's that? Well, you might imagine to, to, to exemplify, I only have uh, fictional r references. Um, the Master Cat in Boots. Or uh, Norse called Loki. Greek god Hermes, uh, perhaps Prometheus. Um, superhero Deadpool. 
or Pennywise, the dancing clown. Typical ENTP. And um, who else? Yeah, uh, Walter Bishop from the French. And there's a certain geekiness, perhaps associated with this kind too. But they really do not become that absorbed, uh, more restless, less focused. Lazy, undisciplined, happy slackers. Uh, to mention some some of the more well mannered or uh, adapted ones. I really believe that Ringo Starr, who made the drumming for the Beatles might actually be one. Mick Jagger, another one. Perhaps even Keith Moon, uh, who did the drumming for The Who. Uh, actor Bruce Campbell. At least it seems to be his mission to portray ENTPs or oh, his uh, role characters seem to be this type uh, and uh, to make some Star Trek references if you're familiar with the original series Fenton Harcourt Mud and um, Next Generation, this character Q, this omnipotent trickster, and uh, uh, there might be a few of yeah, the biblical Satan, uh, one of the great. Mythological uh, entities. Otherwise, really, villains, as with entities, uh, only misfits, should perhaps say. Yeah. All the way to hell. Uh, I will return with some kind of analysis of these types being uh, trapped in their respective loops. <laughs>